On October 9th, 2022, the brightest explosion of all time was seen in the night sky. Nicknamed the Boat Explosion, it was a mind-boggling gamma ray burst coming from a collapsing star. It was so bright that even specialist gamma ray telescopes struggled to cope and were effectively blinded by the explosion. The true magnitude of the burst had to be later reconstructed using some clever maths and physics. Now, after more time to comb through the data we had, it turns out that this burst was even weirder than we thought. Gamma rays are the highest energy wavelength of light, and gamma ray bursts are enormous ejections of these high energy particles. They're the most powerful class of explosions in the universe. These gamma ray bursts, known as GRBs, occur when the core of a massive star runs out of fuel. This causes the star to collapse under the pull of gravity, since there's no longer anything burning in its centre to provide an outward pressure. Usually, the outward force of burning elements can balance gravity, and the star is quite happy. But once that fuel runs out, gravity overwhelms all else, and the star's core collapses in on itself and forms a black hole. The outer layers of the star take longer to collapse, but the new black hole accelerates jets of particles up through the star, emitting gamma rays and x-rays as it goes. These high energy particles also collide with the material surrounding the star, which causes more emissions in all wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. We call that emission the afterglow of the GRB, and that can last for weeks or even months while the main GRB usually only lasts for a second or two. For the boat signal in October 2022, the main GRB was remarkably long, lasting seven minutes, and it was incredibly bright the entire time. Most GRBs emit the energy equivalent to our sun burning for its entire 10 billion year lifespan, but they do it in just a few minutes, which is pretty nuts. GRB 2210-9A, the boat, was then approximately 70 times brighter than the previous record holder for brightness, making this easily the biggest explosion we've ever witnessed. On this graph, you can see the previous records for the brightest GRBs. One in 2009, one in 2013, and a couple in 2019. From each of these, we recorded a few hundred thousand gamma rays per second. Boat, though, blows all of them straight out the water, and the increase in brightness is staggering. Its formal name is GRB 221009A, and it's a real record setter. You can see how much brighter it really was, and at its peak we received over 6 million gamma rays per second. It was long too, absolutely destroying the competition. Once the GRB was detected, a ton of telescopes turned to point at it, and it even registered on some of our most distant probes. The European Space Agency's Gaia and Integral Telescopes detected it from L2, that's a point in space a million and a half miles from Earth, and it's actually where JWST lives as well. NASA's Mars Odyssey and MAVEN spacecraft saw it from Mars about 3.9 minutes after we saw it on Earth. And incredibly, even Voyager 1, 14.7 billion miles away, saw it too. We don't yet know why it was so much brighter, but we do now know a lot more than we did before. The Hubble Space Telescope and JWST also turned to look at the explosion, and while I don't think we've seen any JWST ones yet, the Hubble image is public. Also, neither of those telescopes can detect gamma rays though, so they're really just showing us the afterglow in these images. This is the Hubble image of that remnant, and despite the GRB originating from about 2 billion light years away, it's easily visible amongst each of these much closer objects. We've also seen images from a couple of X-ray telescopes, including this beautiful image from one called XMM-Newton. The rings around the explosion are created as the X-rays produced in the afterglow pass through clouds of dust and gas between us and the explosion. Each time, the cloud will scatter radiation towards us, creating these concentric rings in the X-rays that we observe, and these are visible for days after the explosion. The closest clouds to us produce the largest rings, but they're only bigger from our perspective, and it's not really a physical or important thing here, so don't worry too much about that. In this animation, the clouds are just shown as thin sheets to make it a bit easier to see and understand, but in reality, they would be much more cloud-like. Another X-ray telescope called SWIFT released this awesome animation, showing the remnant and afterglow growing over time. And here we can see its evolution over 11 days. Sadly, since it was so bright and it blinded the gamma ray detectors, we don't have a nice image from any of them, but it probably wouldn't have looked that good anyway, 
because gamma ray detectors are incredibly unsensitive to precise directional information. If you'd like to know more about that, I have a video detailing how they work and how difficult it is to map gamma rays, if you'd like to know more. Similarly, X-ray telescopes have to use some remarkable engineering to produce images and maps to. And again, I have a video on that if you want to hear about it. The boat though was so large that we expect an event this energetic only once every 10,000 years or so. But its size wasn't the only interesting thing. The teams analyzing data from the NASA New Star Telescope also think the jets ejected from the doomed star had a unique shape. New star stands for Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array, and they were able to use this telescope to show that the jet had a shape that's never been seen before in this type of process. Like other GRBs, the boat had a jet that erupted from a collapsing star, with gamma rays radiating from the hot gas and particles of the star and the matter of the jet. However, most GRBs have very skinny jets with almost no stray light or matter outside of that narrow beam. They're usually very compact, so much so that they're usually impossible for us to detect unless that jet is pointing directly at the Earth. In this case though, the boat had a very narrow jet, but it had wide sloping sides as well, allowing it to cover a wider volume than others. The even more surprising difference though, was that the energy of the material ejected in the jet varied, rather than all having the same amount of energy like GRBs normally have. The energy of the material changed based on its distance from the jet's core. This doesn't sound too shocking, but it's something that has never been observed before in a GRB. Right now, we don't know what caused these differences. We think that it must be due to the physical characteristics of the star that collapsed and ejected the GRB. By varying the mass, size, density, or magnetic field of the star, you'll change properties of the burst. This is because the jet has to force its way through and out of the star, so the type and amount of resistance it meets on the way should change the properties of the jet. We can't yet say which one of these properties actually caused the differences, and it's especially hard to figure out since the star is now very much gone. Let's hope we soon get to see a new boat, and then we can go sailing through the data once again and try to figure out some of these unknown things. Leave me your comments and questions down below. Subscribe if you're new, and thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!